Well, hello, welcome to the latest video, which is about the world famous and brilliant Glastonbury Festival. I've been to Glastonbury many, many times. I had a stall there for many years and I was selling books. Been there as an agent for acts, including the Ruttles. And um, Gandalf Murphy and the Slambovian Circus of Dreams, who are now called the Grand Slambovians. The Landright Combo, way back, this is back in the 1990s, I think, it might, might even have been 80s, which was Reckless Eric's band at the time. And anyway, loads of acts, I can't remember them all. You search online or read the Wikipedia page for Glastonbury Festival, you'll never see a bad word. Search, incidentally, for Glastonbury Festival Dark Side or Bad, nothing. That's very strange, isn't it? I think that if you say something bad about Glastonbury Festival, you just die, I think, because Michael Evis, let's face it, is a big Methodist. I may be speaking out of my... <gasps> And as they say, I think God punishes all those who have a bad word to say about Glastonbury. So I better be careful, because I'm going to say Glastonbury is a big money-making exercise. <gasps> oh, hang on a minute, you're going to say. It's all for charity, isn't it? Ain't all for charity. Well, no, it's not. I believe they give a million pounds a year, at least, to local charities. Things like the local like Billy Tall. And two million gets split up between Waterade, Oxfam and uh, Greenpeace. That's it? three million pounds. Now, bear in mind, I've got a look at my piece of paper here because it's um, tricky. They sell at least 142,000 tickets and uh, 335 pound each this year, which is 47 million 570,000. Now, out of that, three million doesn't sound an awful lot. They also get money from all the bars. Now, the bar prices are London prices. Here's an example. Believe me, they get a big chunk of that, the Glassme Festival Company. There's also all the traders. There's lots of traders there. Now, that's another thing. There's at least 800 traders. People have told me there's actually more than they say there are, which I don't think. I don't want to get involved in that. I don't know. So let's just say there's 800, of which half of them, roughly, are food traders. Now, they've just launched, I think, four or five years ago, or maybe longer, a six pound meal deal, which frankly doesn't sound much of a meal. It's like a wrap or a, a toasty or something. Now, for six quid, that sounds a lot. Bear in mind that your average meal at Glassman is gonna cost you 10 or 12 pounds. What a lot of people don't realize is that the food traders have to charge a minimum price. All this is cloaked in secrecy because those traders obviously wanna keep going back because they make money there, but they have to give a certain amount of what they take to Glassman festivals. And also they have, I believe, now can you see, all this is like secrecy. I believe they have special tills they have to use, which record how much they've taken. And I've heard that some traders, some food traders pay something like 10 or 15,000 pounds. Plus they then pay up to 30% of what they then take over that amount. So that's a lot of money on top of everything else with the bars and all the other stuff. Plus as well, let's not beat around the bush. The bands at Glastonbury, if they get paid at all, they get paid a percentage, like maybe half of what they would normally get. Glastonbury, when people buy tickets, don't know what the lineup is. So they're buying them blind, but it's always good because everybody wants to play at Glastonbury. So much so that a lot of the stages don't have any budget whatsoever. This might surprise you. It's quite common. There's a post in Facebook hours looking at the other day, which a band was paying £2,000, an unknown band was paying £2,000 for the opportunity to do three shows on three different stages at Glastonbury. Just to make it plain, I'm not suggesting that the Glastonbury Festival organisers are charging people £2,000 to play, but by having so many stages and not really funding them well, I think they probably know the sort of thing that's going on. I mentioned earlier all the people are paying the 300 and whatever pounds to get in. If you do a search on Google for Glassman Festival Hospitality, if you haven't got a ticket, you can get in now, basically, if you're prepared to pay the price. And it's a very hefty price, but you'll be backstage with a load of people. And this is why all these um, bankers end up at Glastonbury, but they don't get the same stuff that you get, or I would get if I'm out for front. They get like, special catering, they get special bars. They still have to pay, I mean, way over the odds. They even have special run-throughs to go between stages. VIPs, when you search online for Glastonbury Festival Hospitality, 
there are loads of options to choose from. Here's one I chose at random. A variety of packages, including five-day VIP hospitality press pass ticket. You don't even have to be in the press. That's very good, isn't it? And it says, providing access to the inner circle of the inner stage backstage pass with access to the performers and managers area with private bars, food stalls at an extra cost, VIP toilets, very important, mingling with celebrities, media and other VIPs backstage. Five-day VIP hospitality ticket also allows you to camp in a special area dedicated to just hospitality ticket holders. This area has port shower blocks, bars and many food vendors. The area is based as close to the hospitality parking area as possible, thus reducing the carry distance. It's a stunning spot overlooking the whole site and the most exclusive area within Glastonbury. Price, valid from Wednesday to Monday, only £4,999. Or if you want to go a bit more upmarket, there's the luxury accommodation package with an American Airstream trailer, and the prices start at £12,000, which is £3,000 per person, on top, obviously, of your £4,999 you already paid. Then you can have chalets, all sorts of things. Right, that's just one. Let's watch a video. Hi, Hospitality Broker. Just a quick shout out to say thank you so much for the most amazing Glastonbury experience. Special thanks to Pippa and Ollie who made it absolutely incredible for me and my other half. Um, we had the most amazing time. Just a quick one to say thank you again. It was absolutely incredible. Everything from the accommodation to the food to the drinks. Um, the venue, being able to get your hair done, being able to get your glitter done. Well, has that shocked you? Please comment down below, tell me what you think. Subscribe, press the notification bell if you want to be notified of stuff. I'll be doing lots more stuff like this on the music industry and um, check out my other videos. Keep watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.